So it's finally spring. It's the 20th of March 2020. And I'm just sitting in the woods contemplating. And the virus has certainly changed the way I've been thinking. This year's going to be quite different than I thought it was going to be. Uh, as you can see, there's still quite a lot of traffic in the road. Not as busy as it usually is. There's still quite a lot of traffic there. And I'm just down the woods. Just me and the dog, isolated. I can see people up there, but people will be in the woods uh, more than usual now because they'll be wanting to keep themselves distanced from others. Uh, I know the government says you should keep at least a meter away from people, but I think two or three meters is best. Uh, it's going to be difficult because well, the schools are shut now but kids, especially teenage kids it's going to be hard for them to stay away from their friends and the, the longer this goes on the more necessary it might be need, needed to keep them away from their friends but as I speak, the pubs are still opened uh, Non-essential food shops are still open. Uh, people are still meeting in the street. And that's the thing. It's not the people who are feeling unwell or in hospital are, are keeping themselves in their houses that's spreading the virus. It's people who feel fine, who don't think they've got the virus, who are spreading it. And people will just need to self-distance a bit more, have more thought in what they're doing. Uh, don't go to pubs. Don't go out unless you have to go out. I mean, we all have to go shopping. Well, we've got to eat, but that's a big thing as well. That, that's the places you catch the disease. Uh, when you go out, the dogs are we running after, sees these people. Uh, aye, that's when you'll catch, you'll pick it up when you're shopping. The, the, the crowds in the shops are, it's mayhem. And uh, I've got to thank for the, the doctors and nurses who are looking after these people. Uh, and the people who work in the supermarkets uh, and the people who are in the factories and the, the depots providing the food getting the food sent out to the supermarkets all these people are right in the front line of this and they have no, no options but to get out there and I know a lot of people have lost their jobs uh, and will continue to lose their jobs but at the end of the day my opinion is it's not about the money it's not about jobs it's about health keep yourself healthy is number one and when this all passes hopefully within the year hopefully by this time next year everything will pass by if it passes by before before a year that will be a bonus but once it all passes by we can get new jobs new businesses will spring up and the country will get back to on its feet if you think along like war wartime terms after the second world war it took years to get back and it'll probably be the same with this. Uh, so, it's going to be a long journey. And I hope we can all stay safe. 
as safe as possible and get back to what we were doing but mother nature was probably said he's only killing me not killing my planet this is what mother nature can do if you don't look after it so there's a lot of things to think of mankind is very small when it comes down to it so stay safe and try and have a good year